Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's YouTube reaction time. YouTube VOD watchers, uh, like and subscribe, uh, or just go ahead and fast forward. 12 minutes and 17 seconds, but during this little preamble for uh, the Game Awards Global Nominee Reveal, we are going to dig into some predictions, some light predictions of what we think will be nominated. Not what we think will win in these categories, but we're just going to kind of, you know, talk about what's going on leading up to this Global Nominee Reveal. Chat, thank you for being here. I'm streaming this live on Twitch, of course, like we stream everything. Rich is here, Rebecca is here, Brother Man is here, Cody Too Much New Toys is here, Film Talk Hawk is here. I think I named everybody that's here so far, but we've only just begun. More people will trickle in and I will be talking to them throughout the stream. If you want to join me live, you can do the, do so by coming to twitch.tv slash at jake or just go to amazingstreamer.com, baby. Your boy put that fucking website together so it would be easier for you to find me anywhere throughout the internet. But uh, I'm excited for today. Obviously, this is just a preamble to what will be a longer and lengthier discussion with my streaming counterpart, Colin, aka Colleen underscore. You can find him on YouTube at K-A-U-L-I-N-E underscore. And you will be able to um, listen to the two of us in long form speak about all of these nominees and make our Game Awards predictions very soon. In fact, this evening on our podcast that we call Game List. You can find that on your favorite podcast app, by searching game list you can't miss it you could also just go to game list show on youtube or even better just go to amazingstreamer.com like i said it's got a portal to everything that you might need for your jake twitching i don't know desires do it and shut up welcome in i didn't even realize this was a big event game awards thanks for streaming it and making people aware yes i think it's important that i bring more notoriety to the game awards <laughs> you got it. You got it. Welcome in. I appreciate you being here. Um, chat, we will be running through some of the categories here ahead of time um, and kind of making some predictions, but I prepared a little document here because I want to talk to you guys about the predictions that we're going to make for the nominees for the big category. So I brought up a little list. I've kind of, I kind of made this real quick in Canva earlier with a list of all of the games that we think could possibly show up if any game that is not in this list is nominated for the six that are nominated for game of the year i will be absolutely flabbergasted flabbergasted so all that being said these are the to me and probably to the populace i feel like i got my finger on the fucking pulse <laughs> these are the biggest games of the year there are four eight twelve sixteen of them here <laughs> Starfield, Baldur's Gate 3, Alan Wake 2, Dead Space, Resident Evil 4, Super Mario Wonder, Jedi Survivor, Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty, with an asterisk because that is a DLC, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Diablo 4, Street Fighter 6, Hogwarts Legacy, Hi-Fi Rush, Final Fantasy 16, Spider-Man 2, and Armored Core 6, another asterisk as well. I think um, Xenoblade Chronicles Future Redeemed should be in here if we're gonna have Phantom Liberty in here, but honestly, I just didn't wanna find three other things to add in there, but that's the best reviewed expansion of the year, even higher than Cyberpunk. Palia, it doesn't have a shot. It doesn't have a shot. This is just for the big category, the big category. Um, the Basically, what we're looking at here is we need to pick six games no Crash Team Rumble. Doesn't have a shot. Doesn't have a shot. Maybe those games have it if there's like a farming simulator <laughs> option or something along those lines. But for the most part, I don't think that there is um, a chance of those getting the big award. I think that the six that get nominated for Game of the Year will be among these 16 choices that I give you here. And I believe I know which six there will be. Now, obviously we will dig into all of the minutia and the categories later on, but I made my picks earlier with Colleen and I chose the six games as follows. I think the nominees shall be Baldur's Gate 3, Alan Wake 2, Super Mario Wonder, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Street Fighter 6, and Spider-Man 2. Those are my six. Spoilers, Colin's list was identical to mine, except 
I believe he thinks Resident Evil 4 will be in there instead of Street Fighter 6. We share five of the picks, including Baldur's Gate, Alan Wake, Mario Wonder, Tears of the Kingdom, and Spider-Man 2. So not too interesting as far as how we divert there. What we'll be doing tonight on the actual podcast is we'll be rolling through each of the nominated um, categories and making our picks for two categories. One, what will win? What will what do we think will win based on who is voting for these? And then two, what do we wish would win based on the nominations that they give us? It's always a really fun episode. And what we do is we make that prediction. We put up the episode. And then after the Game Awards, we will run down um, who kind of did a better job of reacting. We have an Excel spreadsheet and we see who got more correct as far as what we think would win and who had their heart broken worse by having uh, less correct answers for what we hope would win. It's always a really fun time. I'm telling you, Game List is a fucking ecosystem baby and it's growing does okay numbers on youtube does great numbers on podcast feeds i appreciate everybody that listens but this is just going up this is just some solo content on uh the jake twitching side of things maybe push a little fucking traffic over towards that game list shit uh chat do you have any thoughts on things that will be nominated for game of the year based on what you see here what are your absolutely has to be in here games what are your big guesses for um things that could make it Resident Evil 4 isn't up there. I'm going to be pissed. Most faithful remake ever. Yeah, I mean, Resident Evil 4 is there. The thing that I always think of talking about here, and the thing that I want to make like really clear is that the nominees are decided by a panel of 100-something video game industry people. A lot of it is like aggregate type review sites. So people like Kind of Funny and MinMax and Easy Allies, um all get these ballots sent to them and they as a whole need to decide on their nominees and then whoever gets the most votes wins so you have to take into consideration that you can vote as a viewer and as a consumer once the nominees are made but the people that vote on which games should be nominated are all industry professionals so what comes into play here is the factor of like splitting votes in like the industry so i think if this was america and we were just voting on like a player's choice who should be nominated i would have put hogwarts legacy into that but because the game industry is not so hot on jk rowling as they shouldn't be i'm not hot on jk rowling either but there is a lot of talk about boycotting the hogwarts game i think it's kind of like a little bit of a touchy subject i feel like that game doesn't get nominated despite truly is probably one of the six biggest games of the year i believe it's still the best selling game of the year it's got mass fucking appeal but i don't think it'll even have a chance to get nominated for game of the year because of the people that will be deciding on what game of the year actually is which is really interesting Starfield because they paid money for the nominee i don't think so i, I think starfield has a shot because bethesda fucking stay trues exist there there is a chance there i think the one that for my pick is the most at risk is super mario brothers wonder i feel like it might be tough but to finish my thought on resident evil 4 i'm a little bit worried about the way that you kind of put these together is if you have to decide on six games right you start to have these like little division lines of well, I don't want to nominate two horror games. I'd rather nominate a horror game and a platforming game and an action RPG and a turn-based RPG and an adventure game and then something else. I think that I think that there's an issue with splitting the vote here uh, as well, where if you're only voting for a single horror game, does the industry split their vote on Resident Evil 4 and Alan Wake 2 and neither of them make it through? That would be the scariest situation. Um, there's a lot of... A lot of intricacies here and of course this is just like the grammys or the oscars you know this is a panel of people who have decided what the best games of the year are don't let anyone tell you how to think and feel <laughs> i do my own podcast so that you guys know what i think my game of the year is zelda tears of the kingdom and if i was doing a game of the decade competition my game of the decade would probably be tears of the kingdom i don't know what else is coming close final fantasy 7 remake is probably second place i just don't know Hot take, I feel like Baldur's Gate 3 is far too long. There has to be a line on how long games are. I agree wholeheartedly. That's why I love a concise experience like Spider-Man 2. But that is not the pulse on a lot of people that are out there. They want more bang for their buck. They want replayability. They want to stink their... They want to stink. <laughs> they want to sink their... You know, however many... Oh, shit. Mini Pharma, welcome in. So kind. Gifting the 
sub to do it and shut up as well. No ads for you. You won't miss any of the nominees. And Mini Farwell, welcome in, you absolute icon. Um, yeah, W's in chat. W's in chat, no doubt. Um, chat as well, just to talk about some stuff that's coming up, or YouTube VOD watchers, if you want to get excited. Tonight is the last episode of Survivor. This week, uh, next week, on Monday, we're going to start our Bachelor for the Wii playthrough. I ordered the disc. It should be here really soon. We're also going to play Call of Duty to unlock our Little Caesars operator. I ordered a bunch of fucking Little Caesars. and I'm going to eat it on stream. It's supposed to be here in about an hour. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, Diablo 4 has my vote, but I might be a biased Diablo fuckboy. There's nothing wrong with that. Diablo, the way that I described it is Diablo had a fire that blazed bright but extinguished quickly. I think that a lot of the player base has fallen off for Diablo and it was a really good time at launch, but it's been a, it's been tough. It's been tough. Mini Farva, thanks again so much for that gifted sub. Do it and shut up. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you love it. And that you're here because you're contractually obligated to be here for the next 30 days. Got a sub now. Very, very cool. Um, I think Alan Wake 2 and Resident Evil 4 both get the nominee. Then you agree with Colleen. I can't blame you. I think it's a good fucking vote. Just took a fat shit. What up? Good morning, JP. Welcome in, homegirl. You're just in time. We got a minute left, and it's fucking time. Game Awards nominees are happening now. Reactions, chat, last minute thoughts, any guesses, anything that you don't think makes it. Zelda will sweep. Ty, speaking my fucking language. You're speaking my language. Um, as always, chat, obviously, we are just doing this live. We only have 44 seconds until it's go time. Gingerbeard, welcome in. What's up, you fucking nerds? Just found out this exists today. This happens every year. Yeah, this is like the ninth or 10th. I win 100% hard stuck. It might be possible. Um, chat, help me out with audio as well. If anything doesn't look or sound good, if you need me put down or the audio on the event boosted, or put down, let me know. We want to create the best, most thorough and enjoyable viewing experience possible. Let's see what these categories are. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. Like and fucking subscribe, please. And then check the full conversation out on the Game List podcast. Or just go to AmazingStreamer.com. You know where to find it. I hear it, chat. It's low. We're going to boost it. We're going to fucking boost it. This is where we want it. This is where we want it. Show me that sweet, sweet Keeley face. There have been so many great games in 2023. Nine, eight. And on Thursday, December 7th, we will celebrate just in time. the Rep, best welcome of the in. best at the 10th annual Game uh, Awards. And obviously, chat, we'll be reacting to the actual Game Awards right here as well. The Peacock Theater in Los Angeles. Keeley, could you I'm be Jeff in higher Keeley, quality for us, bro? It's finally time to reveal the nominees across more than 30 Peacock Theater in this. Los Angeles. I'm Jeff Keeley, and it is Here we go. finally time. They should have made the host of Wii of this. This motherfucker invented it. Categories. He invented it. The winners, you can vote in all categories. All right, chat. Now Let's see. Awards. I'm going to be very snap this judgmental because be I think this is going to go very quickly. Filled with new game announcements from teams around the I'm world. I'm going to go boo or yay. Let me get my soundboard ready. Share. But now I am honored to get to the task at hand. Here are the nominees as selected by our voting jury. For the Game Awards 2023. For best performance, the nominees best performance. are N Star as Clive, Final of Fantasy course. 16. Deserved. Cameron Monaghan as Cal Kestis, Ooh. Star Wars yeah, Jedi I didn't think Survivor. Of that. Idris Elba as Solomon Reed, Cyberpunk 2077. Love for the DLC, we were worried about that, Melody chat. Melody Leibert as Saga Anderson, Alan Wake 2. Neil Newbon as Astarian, Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, don't, doesn't and everybody want to fuck that guy? As Peter Parker, Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Guy. For best the ongoing guy. game, the, the nominees character. are Apex Legends, Apex, Cyberpunk 2077. Cyber oh, interesting! Final Fantasy 14. Obviously, Fortnite. my vote is going to be Final Fantasy Impact. 14 because it's the fucking answer. In the of best Z, welcome in. Interesting to see Discord. Cyberpunk there. I think Cyberpunk Baldur's gets that maybe. Three. Diablo 4. Oh. Party Animals. Ew, Street I don't Fighter think that's six. up there. And Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Oh, the nominees sick. for best art direction are Too much Yuri, I agree. Alan Wake 2. Hi-Fi Rush. Our direction's interesting. Lies Good P. shit on Hi-Fi Rush. Wonder. And The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Here he wants to fuck everybody. Art direction? Goddamn. Keely, we are ripping through these, brother. Holy shit. 
Baldur's Gate 3. Score and music, Final, Final Fantasy 16, and it's not Final close. Final Fantasy 16. Token, baby. Masayoshi Soken. Hi-Fi Rush. Audio director. Oh, actually. Kabori. And the Legend of Zelda. Coming Tears faster of the than anyone could imagine. Yeah, Nintendo for sure. The best audio design nominees Nintendo are. Sound team. Alan Wake 2. Audio design, it might go to Alan Wake 2. Spider-Man 2. The speed is perfect and for my goldfish attention span. <laughs> yeah, the best TikTok crowd is going to fucking love this. The Zoomers are going bonkers. Creating shows, oh, okay. We're slowing it down. Endeavors based on video game worlds and characters. We're going to get Here, like cyberpunk edge runners and shit. Any edgers? Castlevania what was that last year? Gran Turismo. Ooh. The Last of Us. Oh, The Last of Us, right? Oh, that's a fucking competition. Twisted Metal. That's the Super Mario vs. Last of Us, right? Are Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077, <laughs> Phantom Liberty, Final Fantasy 16, mm. and Marvel's Spider-Man 2. I'm edging right now. Keep talking. I got you. I'm going to get a gravelly. This metal is actually pretty good. I've heard really good things. I was so hyped for it. A Space for the Unbound, Chance of Sonar, Goodbye Volcano High, Chia, Hey, Terra Nil, Chia. And Benba. Chat, the Chia is in my top five games of the year. I fucking adore that little game. Cocoon, that game has heart. Dave the Diver. Heart. Dredge, it's important. Sea of Stars and Viewfinder. Ooh, that's good shit. For best mobile my game, vote goes to Viewfinder. I must disclose I was sponsored by Ever a company that makes Viewfinder to stream Viewfinder, Star but Man. I still think it's fucking Hello divine. Kitty Island Adventure. Monster Hunter Now and Ooh. Terra Nil. Best Raid Shadow support. Legends, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've gone through seven categories in three minutes, yeah. To players. The nominees are Community Support, Baldur's Gate 3, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Destiny 2, Final No, Fantasy it's not going to be Destiny 2 after those layoffs. And No Man's Sky. It should be pretty much No Man's okay, Sky every year, right? Best debut indie game, which recognizes a development team that hasn't been on the TGA stage before. In fact, these teams published their first game in It's got to be Chia. Chia, Chia. The nominees are Cocoon, Chia, Dredge, Pizza Tower, Chia, Benba, Chia, and Viewfinder. You cunts. For best VR AR game. <laughs> I don't know half of these games. Yeah, it Grand gets a little Turismo intense. 7. The the humanity. indie specifically. Oh, Horizon humanity probably out. fucks in VR. Resident Evil Village VR. And I have a VR headset Synapse. being brought to For me by the homies the today, the so that I can make some sponsored Iron content. People make games. The fuck is this? Blackity. I don't Spring. know any of these people. And Cipher PK. I vote for Spree, I think that's a cool name. Pizza Tower is the Wario Land like. Alright. Anticipated are. game. Uh, Future had a really. Alright, my vote is Final Eight Fantasy 7 Rebirth, but Future last night like had a, a really. Um, Star Wars Outlaws. Interesting take here. And Tekken 8. Oh, Grand Theft Auto is not on there. For best action adventure game are Alan Wake oh, 2. it's not Resident Evil Village. Marvel's Spider Man 2. This. Resident Probably Evil goes 4. to Spider-Man, right? Star Wars Action Jedi Adventure. Survivor. I feel like Jedi Survivor gets snubbed. Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. For best role-playing game, the jury selected Baldur's Gate. 3, it's got to be Baldur's Gate, I guess, Final right? Final Fantasy 16. I feel like Final Lies Fantasy 16. They didn't stars, do it for me. And Starfield. Role-playing. Now, now do best erotic role-playing game. game. <laughs> the nominees are God of Rock. Mortal Never even Kombat heard of God 1. of Rock. Nickelodeon's All Star Brawl. Oh, good 2, look for All Star Brawl 2 to get. Bravery and I don't know. Street Fighter. 6. I mean, it's Street Fighter, and it's not the even fucking close. Best action game are Armored Core 6: Fires of Rubicon. This is the only time we'll see Armored 2. Core 6 in here. Ghost Runner 2. Nick High Brawl. I'm Rush telling you, look at the Metacritic for Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl 2. It's fucking and nuts. Accessibility celebrates games that are making uh, our accessibility goes to Spider Man 2. It always does. Sony's accessibility shit is nuts. Experts. This year's nominees for innovation and watch. accessibility are Diablo 4, Forza Motorsport, Hi-Fi Rush, Marvel's Spider-Man 2. The venue is beautiful. Mortal yeah, Kombat they don't 1, fuck around. And Street Fighter uh, 6. Next up, best Colin, family. my co-host for the podcast, is going to the Game Awards. He bought Disney a ticket. Illusion Island. This is Party Mario. Animals. Mario. Pikmin 4. Oh, I like to see Pikmin 4. Oh, I love to see Sonic on there. But it's going to go to fucking... The best it's gonna go this strategy nominees are It's a tough year Advanced to release Sonic game and two, Reboot Ooh, this is a really nice They're City giving a Skylines lot of different two. games some shine here Company of Heroes 3 Fire Emblem I'm, I'm pumped up And 
Pikmin 4. Yeah, but Pikmin back-to-back -back categories. Five games are nominated for best sports Ooh, racing. show me Crew Motor Fest. Sports That's where my FC vote would go. 24, F1 23, Forza Motorsport, Hot Wheels Unleashed okay, 2, yeah, yeah. Turbocharged, and the Crew Motor Fest. Uh, if a game wins, they give you a trophy or something. There's a whole event, guide. December 7th. I stream it every year. It's like a three-hour ceremony. Game. There's new game the announcements. It's like a whole shindig. It's fucking wild. Dota 2. Esports game. Legends, PUBG Mobile, I mean, it should go to and Valorant. pretty much league every year. But Valorant's pretty big are, these days, right? Demon 1. Faker. Let's see if we know Hydra, any of these people. I think I've heard of Faker Imperial before. Hal, Ruler. And Zywu. I vote Ruler For because he's got the best name. Our committee nominated these teams. Evil Geniuses, Valorant. Fanatic, Valorant. Game and Gladiators, Dota 2. JB Game and Gladiators League of Legends, and is a good name. Team Vitality, Counter-Strike. Game and Gladiators. I vote coach oh, here we go. Let's check these names. Potter. Oh, Homie. Potter's good. Gumba. Oh, Homie's good. Fuck, Next everyone's team. name is good. And Zonic. And finally, the nominees I don't know. for best esports event are... 2023 League of Legends. It's the World League Worlds, yeah. This is, I mean, it's. Paris Major 2023. It can't even be close. Evo 2023. Oh, but Evo was so the fucking sick this Dota year. And Pokemon, Pokemon runs Evo and now. Valorant Champions 2023. You gotta love that. All right, you ready? It's time for our All final right. two categories. Let's see. Best Game Direction, which recognizes extraordinary creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. This year's nominees. Are mm. Alan Wake 2. Nice. Baldur's Sam Lake, 3, baby. Marvel's Spider Man 2. Super Mario Are these Brothers going to be the Wonder, same? And The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Categories? That's basically okay, my picks. Finally, on behalf of All right, the let's jury, see. I let's am see. proud to announce the six. Give me the six. Selected for let's see if I got them right. I think Street Fighter 6 should be in there in addition to the, the last five we saw. For Game of the Year at the Game Awards are. Alan Wake 2. Nice. By Remedy Entertainment. Good for them. Baldur's Gate 3 from We knew Marian it. It's Studios. a shoe in with Zelda. Marvel. Spider, Spider Man 2 makes two. sense. Insomniac We're looking games. good. Resident Evil oh 4. Oh my Capcom. god. Both. Super Mario, Mario Wonder. Wonder from Nintendo. Street Fighter Snub. Legend of Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom from Nintendo. Alan gets it right and I get it fucking wrong. And there you go. Brother man, you were right as well. Wow. For the game awards. Are you the fucking kidding me? Year for sure, but who will come out on top? Well, you can help select the winners by voting now at the I'm a little I'm a little surprised. Discord server. I'm hope very surprised. Live on Thursday, December 7th That's pretty game. wild. The TGA Orchestra will be back on this very stage. Charity win always, for Colleen. He's got to win something. With your nominees. <laughs> wins yes, in my heart. Early access. Maybe when it releases in 2027. <laughs> in 2024 <laughs> It'll have a chance. So lock in your votes uh, future. No Grand Theft Auto 6 years for the we'll most anticipated. Thursday, December 7th. Hell yeah, Keely. So chat, if you're not familiar, the Game Awards streaming live December 7th is like a three hour. It's like the Oscars, the Grammys, but it's for video games and it's a fucking event every year. It's really dope. Colin's going to be there in the audience. I'll be here doing live reactions. Then he and I will come together and podcast about it. Just like we're going to podcast about this. YouTube VOD watchers. Thank you. Like and subscribe. It's so much fun to hang out and be with me. I promise. Look, chat. Say something cool for the YouTube VOD watchers right now. It'll all pop up down here. You'll see. They're going to say cool things. What? Wait, I'll focus my camera while they say cool things. Here we go. Ready? We will configure video. Autofocus. Look at that. Crispy clean as chat pops off. Something cool. No pressure. Smash that like button. I'm going to run on stage this year and be famous. Cool thing by Sonic. All right. That's enough. Thanks, YouTube.